this question asks us to calculate the velocity of the ball and the angle it must be kicked at to pass a 3 meter tall fence. Let's draw the illustration simpler with our coordinate system. We can write down what we know. The ball starts from location x0 in the horizontal direction which is at 0 meters. The final location in the horizontal direction is 6 meters. When I say final location, it's the location where we are trying to find the other values at. The starting location in the vertical direction, y0, is 0 meters. The final location y is 3 meters. Gravity also affects the ball, so acceleration in the vertical direction is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Let's think about the velocity. In the horizontal direction, velocity is v cos theta, and in the vertical direction, it's v sin theta. Now it's time to write our equations. We will assume horizontal motion to the right is positive and vertical motion upwards is positive. The first equation we will use is x equals x0 plus v0 t. Let's substitute what we know in. We can isolate this for t and then leave it aside to focus on an equation for the vertical motion. For that, we will use this equation. As before, let's substitute what we know in. Now, let's substitute equation 1 into equation 2 by writing t with equation 1. Simplifying gives us an equation isolated for v. This part is a bit long-winded, but you have to think about the problem a little bit. It's asking for the minimum velocity the ball needs to be kicked at. What value of theta would give us the lowest velocity value is what we need to figure out. That would mean the bottom part of our fraction must be a maximum. So how would we get that value? We need to take the derivative of the bottom equation and the derivative must equal zero. That's how we can find the theta value that would give us a minimum velocity. Taking the derivative gives us this equation. Let's do a bit of trigonometry and we can write it in terms of tan. Then we can figure out the value of theta. If you put this into your calculator, you'll probably get a negative value. So we need to add 180 degrees, since we only need positive values, which is still the same answer. So finally, we arrive at the angle of 58.2 degrees. Let's substitute this back into our equation and we get a velocity value of 9.7 meters per second. If there is an easier way of getting to this answer, please comment below. Thanks for watching, and if this helped you, please give a thumbs up, and good luck with your studies.